Good morning. This is Bill from Auto Europa Naples, and today, again, I have leaf blowers. They've become my nemesis. It used to be helicopters or airplanes flying overhead. Now it's leaf blowers. But, you know, everybody's got to hate something, and that's it for me. The good news is I also have this terrific 2003 Mercedes-Benz SL500 Roadster. You know, some cars are terrific the day they were produced, and this is one of them. And some used cars have been kept so terrifically that uh, they just excel. They're just better than all the other ones you see. And this is one of those. God, that leaf blower is killing me. It's killing me. He's been blowing for 20 minutes now. God, that SOB. Anyway, I think he sees me over here. Um, where was I? The condition of this car. Some of them are just kept so nice, and this is one of those. Uh, it's been garaged, it's been loved, it's been smooched, it's been maintained. Uh, you can see it in every square inch of the car, and I'll go over a couple of the details as we go around it. But first of all, have a look at this thing. It's triple black, terrific color for an SL, absolutely gorgeous. It's a folding hardtop convertible. Look at the dual exhaust on the bottom, the SL500 badging, the star on the back. Uh, beautiful alloy wheels with very fresh continental rubber on there. He already did that driveway. He's done that driveway for 20 minutes. Ah, all right. Anyway, <laughs> I'm losing it. Where was I? Uh, condition of this car, phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Like, have a look at this headlight. I didn't restore those. We didn't, you know, have anyone do those for us. That's the way this car came in. It's been garage since new. Here in the back, these uh, trim panels on either side of the uh, back windshield, these are always, you know, faded or strained looking. They're like new in this car. Again, a testament to the way it's been kept. Uh, the alloy wheels, no curb rash. Look at the green caps on the uh, valve stems. You know, of course, that's uh, frankly an old guy going to Costco to get tires and having them filled with nitrogen. Uh, you know, this thing has just been looked after. So I tell you what, let me start uh, by putting the top down so you can see how that works. Find a key somewhere. Can't believe he's still blowing the leaves over there. That is the most inefficient leaf blower guy ever. All right, so I'm gonna crank it up. A big V8 fire into life. And here's a big uh, switch here. Now just gently pull back on that. Some guys really wanna run those buttons hard. You just need to pull them back a little bit. All right, back goes the trunk in the reverse position, and the fold top very quickly folds away. Very, very fast. Fast enough to be used at a traffic light, which is quite nice. Let me run the windows down, shut it off again, we'll take a walk around the car. All right, now you've got a two-seat Roadster absolutely stunning and you know this is a real gentleman sports car you know you can talk about corvettes or even camaros or something but there's just something about an sl roadster that's different it's more elegant uh you know it's more refined uh you know sort of james bond-esque if you will for want of a, a much better term but uh, it is a very very elegant very nice car you can see how gorgeous it looks with the top down and of course that is the most fun uh, way to drive it all right, I'm going to show you inside the trunk because that's one of the neatest features. So we put that guy up, we press this red button here, and the folding hardtop lifts up so it gives you access to your cargo. Put that divider back and you got a ton of room for storage. I do have all the original elastic nets which bolt in there. They're just our detailer didn't stick them in. Even though I command him to, he doesn't do it. Nobody listens to me. But uh, they are with the car still. Look how nice the third brake light is here. Again, these things are always sort of, if it's been outside, they get hazy or smoky or chalky. This thing is crisp, perfect, as it should be. I'll show you under the hood. And there's some magic under here. This is a 5-liter Mercedes V8 putting out more than 300 horsepower. Uh, you can see the incredible condition of the engine bay, just exceptional. You see a Mercedes battery there. Now, that has been replaced in the car's life, and it was replaced at the Mercedes dealer. So you really have to respect someone who pays twice as much for a uh, battery as they need to. That's also a guy who changes his oil. 
Uh, you know, down at the dealer, you do get a free espresso, but it's not free. Uh, you can see the condition of the motor. This car is southern, no rust, no corrosion anywhere. All the bolts are nice, no leaks from the valve covers. Uh, just a very, very proper, well-maintained car. Up the turn signals and the mirrors. You know, Mercedes always pioneers stuff. Now, have a look at this beautiful charcoal interior. He's back again. He's doing the same driveway. You know, you have to admire his uh, dedication, but good God. Uh, anyway, beautiful, rich charcoal leather inside, absolutely gorgeous. The beautiful wood trim, the leather in the doors. Of course, front airbags, side airbags. You've got a nice little compartment here to put stuff in there. You put whatever you need in there. Uh, you got a Bose sound. Here's your memory seats. Look at them, more coming in, calling in reinforcements. I bet you there's 10 leaf blowers on that truck. Uh, anyway, your heated seats. Uh, those are like 14-way power seats. They move in every which way. Uh, this button here is quite nice. You press this guy, everything comes forward and it gives you access to your rear package shelf area. And here you've got your CD changer. Over there you've got your medical kit and a little CD case. Uh, these guys are quite neat. They're like seat belts for cargo. You pull that out, snap it into this guy here, and then it will hold, you know, something you stick on that shelf in place without uh, flying forward. Uh, this guy here is a uh, roll bar, which can be deployed manually. You just press a button, it comes up. It also deploys uh, automatically in the event of collision and uh, gives you head protection. So a very nice feature. All right, let's hop in. Look at these seats. I've never been leather medic, never been touched up. Little tiny bit of patina. Absolutely incredible condition. Uh, for uh, for the age and for the leather. Really, really nice. Uh, I love the way this thing sounds when you fire it up. All right, here you see a very well laid out instrument cluster. It doesn't beep at you too much like some of these uh, other Mercedes are want to do. You can see just 64,000 miles. Very nice multifunction steering wheel with black leather, lovely. Got automatic headlamps over there, nice. Uh, over here, your Mercedes-Benz command unit that gives you your basically your radio, your CD, and your nav. Uh, from 03, the nav is a little bit like having Pac-Man in the dash, but it's there if you need it. Uh, you got a glove box over there. There's your books, your quick guide stuff. <clears throat> I mean, <clears throat> the way this car was kept, you know. Um, when you see this kind of stuff, even the way it's displayed for you, uh, I didn't do that. When we opened the, the box, that's what we found. Really, really nice. Uh, here is your, of course, your automatic shifter. Uh, you can use this tiptronically. So if you want to shift manually this way, this way, you can boil through the five-speed transmission. Uh, your mirrors, your ABC Sport suspension, uh, that's pretty cool stuff. That'll stiffen the uh, suspension on the left or right side as you need it for cornering. Uh, this raises and lowers the car with the hydraulics. So if you need a little more ground clearance, you can. Uh, here underneath the uh, convertible top mechanism is your roll bar. So press that and up it comes. Look at that. So now you can drive around with the roll bar exposed and look pretty sporty. All right, what do you say we go for a spin? We're in our winter summer. We're in summer because we're in Florida. Not much snow here. And away we go. So again, every SL that's ever made has become or will become a collector's item. That's one of the joys of SLs. Uh, you know, they are very, very expensive cars when they're new. They're open topped, which, uh, you know, of course, is one of the tickets to collectability. And, uh, you know, usually, uh, you know, well powered, nice drivers, very sporty, very elegant. And, uh, you know, so it's nice to get in on the ground floor in this generation. They're as cheap as they're ever going to be. Uh, this was the first folding hardtop SL, uh, big V8 in there. And, you know, as the years pass, people are going to start collecting these. God, it's got nice throttle response. <laughs> I just want to barrel through the neighborhood, but you can't. I give it a little, a little something. Oh, okay, I can't do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna run someone over. Uh, what a nice sound. What a nice feel from the steering, the brakes. 
it's so nice to drive a well-maintained car and not just you know an individual car but a car that has been designed for really sporty driving I mean this thing was made to bring German orthodontists to work on the Audubon at 150 miles an hour and uh, it's <laughs> it is so much fun to drive and look if you have an interest this is again 03 SL 500 triple black incredible condition 64,000 miles, mint, 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 everything ready to go. Give us a call, 239-649-7300, on the web at mercedesexpert.com. Uh, thank you so much for having a look. We appreciate it. We'll see you with the next one. Take care.